Hi, in this uh, short demo, I'll show you how to do uh, collection joins in SonarW. SonarW is a NoSQL warehouse. It is 100% uh, compatible with MongoDB, um, but because it is a warehouse, there are some extensions, and one of them is a join. Um, in a warehouse, it's very typical to have uh, fact tables or fact collections and then a lot of dimensions, a lot of dim tables or collections. And so it's important to be able to do joins in SonarW. Um, so I'll show you how that looks. Um, and I have a database here uh, with a few collections. So I'll do show collections. And uh, I have some fact collections as well as some dim collections. Um, so, for example, I can do db.fact voice KPI sum. If I look at documents inside this uh, collection, the, 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 these, this is a uh, telco use case. So, all of the uh, fact and dim tables are about. Um, uh, calls and and uh, cell towers and faults etc so this is my fact collection right fact voice KPI sum and in it for example there is a field called dim cell FK for foreign key um, and this this is a foreign key into another collection uh, which is the dim cell collection so if I do a find one on this collection you'll see that there's all kinds of properties that have to do with this uh, cell tower. And so what I want to do is I want to join between this collection and this collection so that I can extract information from the dimension collection into whatever query I'm building uh, using the main fact collection. Um, and I'll show you how to do a join. Uh, but uh, In order to do this, I'm going to use JSON Studio which is, saves me a lot of the typing, and so it's easier for me to use it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll load uh, first my fact collection. Okay, so that was the NAA6.fact um, voice KPI sum. Okay, and so these are the documents here. And what I want to do is I want to add a join stage and the join stage is an extension to the MongoDB aggregation framework. Um, so because I'm connected to SonarW, JSON Studio uh, knows that, and so it's offering a join stage. If I use JSON Studio to connect to MongoDB, this option would not be here. So I'm creating a join stage. And in the join stage, I have to decide which collection I want to join with. So in this case, it's dim cell. Okay, so I'll pick dim cell and I'll add the join. And there are two important things that I need to specify. I need to specify how, which, what, are the, what is the join condition. Okay, so I'll click condition. And then what I do is I double click on each of the uh, fields in the respective collection to tell the system how to join. So here, I'm gonna double click on dim cell FK. So it adds this to the left-hand side. And then I'll open up this browser, which shows me the structure of the collection I'm joining with. Okay, so this is dim cell, and the, this is what a document looks like in dim cell. And in this case, what I want to join with is the ID itself. So I double click this, and so it added this over here. And then I have to specify what I want to project from, from these uh, two collections. So for example, suppose that from the fact table, I'm, I want to project the total calls and the total active subscribers and maybe the failed call rates as well as the, um, the dim cell for and key and maybe something else. And then from the, um, from the dim cell collection, I want to project, say, the, the region and the network and the equipment type. Um, so every time I double click, it adds it to the projection over here. And then if I run it, okay, it will give me the results. Okay, and you can see that what it's doing is it's, it's completing the join. And some of the fields, like, like the first 
five come from the main collection. And then the other, the ones that start with underscore or underscore dim, which is just the default name that the tool creates, come from the dimension uh, collection. The full syntax for this I can get if I do a view pipeline code. So this is what the syntax looks like directly to the aggregation framework. So there's a new step called join. In the join it says which collection to join with and then there's all the other parameters and of course I can just copy paste this and run it directly from within the shell so I can do something like db dot fact dot aggregate aggregate and then put in this and say pretty and run it and I'll get the exact same thing from the shell or from any driver that I want to send this to. So this was a very short demo of the join capability within SonarW. SonarW is uh, the first NoSQL data warehouse, very good for fast analytics and complex workloads over flexible and complex data, uh, all structured within JSON.